What's up guys, welcome back to another FTB episode. Uh, today we're gonna do another episode on is it worth buying where we discuss about the cars, we talk about various cars and uh, basically declare of whether you should go ahead and buy them or whether you should go ahead and steer away from the car. Um, I'll put a link to the description below as well from the previous episode if you want to give that a check. Um, but today's guest, we have one of my good friends from back in high school. Um, we will be reviewing his car. He wants to step to the front of the camera. What's up to you? My name is Josh. We're here to go over my 2017 WRX. Hope you guys like it. Because that means something, you know. You got this. A lot of people will cherish that. But uh, off the rip, guys, I just want to tell you this stock, everything off factory, is it worth it? It's worth it. Like, this car is good, but it's low key a piece of shit, okay? Um, tune's terrible. The freaking stereos are terrible. I mean, it's okay quality music and stuff, but. I mean, once you like, honest to God, like after you just like, you know, go ahead and throw some parts on it, like cop tune it and do all that, this car is actually worth it. Like you actually push horsepower. Like you can actually dog people. Stock, you're not dogging nobody. Like you're not dogging nobody. You got like jerks and everything. It's not like you, you question why you bought the car, but then after you go ahead and throw like uh, the cob and everything on there, it's worth it, bro. Like you start, you can hear the boost. I'm running Cobb exhaust, exhaust system with downpipe and everything from Cobb. My car actually backfires now. Like, it actually, it moves. Like, it's not moving stock. I'm just going to be honest. Uh, right now, I got a, a lick from, I think, IK Motorsports. Uh, I still got stock wheels and everything like that. Just the premium stuff. Uh, mud flaps, y'all know. 30 horsepower right there. Much you got the basic cop like you know, I just went stage two and I'm really just pushing as much as I can. Uh, hopefully, gonna get put a dyno tune on it soon whenever I got a chance. But uh, I went with 3510 on my car because you know, Virginia is you know, oh. badass state, you know, it's terrible. No one ever wants to live in Virginia. Uh, I got this car when it had 24,000 miles on it, it's got like 36. Uh, I'm trying to push on later to. I'm gonna go intercooler piping. Uh, I'm not trying to run E85 because I don't have the time to like put all that gasoline in my car because that's that's not fun. It's not the move, and it's not gonna be the move when you do it. I'm telling you right now. Uh, other than that, I just got this. I don't think there's anything else I got on here. I'm trying to go and get a new tire soon. I don't know what to look. If you guys got any suggestions, go ahead and comment there. For me. And another question I got is if you throw like intercooler piping on it, do you have to tune the car after you do all that or can I just run the intercooler piping and then be fine? I don't know much about Subaru. I mean, I know enough to know that my car is fine right now with the stock tune it has from Cog, but I just need to know if, if I can run that so my car doesn't blow up. Please and thank you. Uh, right now for the headlights. I'm about to put in the uh, the stock HID lights that I have in my house. It's gonna make the lights blue. Uh, my dream to make this car, like the dream build, is probably make it yellow, black and yellow, like Bumblebee. It's my favorite thing from uh, Transformers. Uh, throw a wing on it. Uh, and at least push like 350 horsepower, bro. That's lit. 
Uh, other than that, you know, this car is everything. And I recommend getting it. So let's go ahead and check out the engine bay. All right, currently we got the Cobb intake system, you know, the basics of uh, blessing right here, low key in disguise. This blessing, y'all know about uh, oil filters. Y'all know these can be, you know, a bitch. I think that's just hot stuff. Uh, got the engine. Just got the basics, man. There's nothing much to talk about. This thing's like, it's still relatively stock. I still gotta put stuff. The only thing I got on here is the uh, exhaust system. I'm sure the exhaust system. running Cobb too. Uh, it's like that, man. I like, I like the rumble. It's not too loud. If you're scared of cops trying to pull you over. They're not going to pull you over because it's like in the middle type of loud. Like, it's not too much, but it's not too little. Uh, definitely, definitely sounds nice when you, like, pull off on somebody. Uh, especially nice whenever you, like, pull off on somebody and you backfire on them just to let them know you like that. Uh, now I'm gonna give you a start up with the engine, well, not with the engine, just uh, what the exhaust sounds like right now. It's not a cold start, but you know, it's a start. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a couple reps. Now that you heard the exhaust, it's kind of what the interior looks like. You got really good plastic, like way better. It's got leather. I don't got the leather seats because, you know, we're just a premium. We're not like a limited. Uh, besides the door, I mean, this is what the interior looks like. Shift knobs like that. Uh, car's a little bit dirty right now, but, you know, uh, I'm kind of weird. I still got the, the wrap from when I bought my car just because, you know, passengers, they don't really give a shit about what they do in your car because, you know, they ain't got one but uh, kind of dusty. Everything's pretty nice. The speaker system needs work on. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's like, it's doable. But I definitely recommend throwing like some some uh, subs in there and definitely like start taking out the, the stereos, bro, and changing them up. That's the next step for me because you know, it's not, it's not popping, bro. I'm telling you that right now. You got static and it's just, it's not, it's not static. It's just like a rumble and it's just not worth it. Like you just, you might as well get something where it's like, you know, you might as well just drop the 800 and like make this like system like that, you know? Definitely better when you bring girls in the car, bro. Uh, what's next? Uh, you know, comes with AC, you know, the basics. Uh, oh, awesome thing about this car, it has the boost gauge right here. All right, right there, you can see the boost control right there. Um, other things it gives you, it gives you time, basic, gas mileage. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not about to cap about this gas mileage right here. It's it's accurate, but it goes down by tens. I've like it only goes down by tens. Like if I drive and you know I drive like 10 miles, like it has to be 10 miles before it goes down. It's never gonna be like 263 miles, you know? It's never gonna say that. And it's weird. Like it's never like like my old Altima used to always tell me like, oh, you got 60, you got 62 miles. But this thing, it's like, you got dead ass 50. Like, I don't understand how you just got 50 every single time, bro. It doesn't make sense. All right, next you got, you know, it tells you the tires, everything like that. It tells you if uh, you got like a nail and stuff like that. It gives you the miles per gallon, lit. I'm telling you right now, that's a lit. Uh, you get really good gas mileage for this car. That's a fact, especially when you're dusting people. Uh, Car takes premium gas, you know, that's a given. Uh, stereo system, I mean, it's all right, if we're gonna be honest, I'm telling you. The worst thing about this car is probably the stereo system. Everything else is tough, like the handling and everything like that. Uh, turbo, when you first buy it, uh, when you buy the car, I'm not gonna lie, you don't have a turbo, straight up. You gotta go stage two if you wanna actually have a turbo, or like stage one. Stage one, you can actually hear like the, the, the flutters a little bit, but just off rip, when you buy the car, you are not gonna hear the turbo unless you're like really trying to redline it. Uh, damn, bro, it's like 81 degrees outside, 91. God damn. Okay. Uh, hidden features about Subaru. You know they got this little st stupid text thing right here, the AHA. 
no one ever uses that. I swear to God, they don't. Uh, I never once stop and be like, oh, I need to use my AHA, but uh, in text. Uh, next thing they got, apps wise, you know, they got the Starlink. I don't even know what that's for. I don't even use that. Uh, Pandora, that's tough. I think I've done that like once or twice. If I could like get off this thing. And then if you go here, you got all this. You can throw a desk in there, Cyrus Radios. I know if anyone buys a new car, you guys are blown because they will send you eat like mail out the ass. They don't, they don't care. They, they, they really want your service, bro. They're insane how much mail I get from them. Uh, oh, another thing about this car, uh, USB wise for like charging your phone. You really need to invest in. I need to get it because I'm lacking right now. I need to get a charge port because I'm not going to hold you guys. This right here is not cutting it. Like, it's really not cutting it. Like, you can have your phone on here, and it's going to take a minute for it to charge. I know this one, you plug it in here and have your uh, USB in here. It charges way faster, like, like how it's supposed to charge. If you put it in here, it's you're going to be blown, bro, because you're going to take, like, a day for your car to be charged. Uh, other than that, I'm not gonna lie, guys. This car is like that. It just gotta, you just gotta put some work into it. Like, you might buy the car for like twenty-two thousand dollars or less or whatever, whatever you can afford. Just know that you're gonna have to put a little bit of work into it. It's worth it. And I highly recommend sunroof because you got just the hard top, bro. It's not, it's not worth it, bro. You just wake, look way better with a sunroof. Plus, I mean, we live in Virginia. It's hot. It's hot as hell, bro. I'm already sweating. You can probably see that shit running on my head. Uh, next, I can go over Cobb if you guys want, if we got time for all that. So right now I got the AF correction. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to like benefit your car somehow. They set this up when I got it uh, tuned and everything. Uh, I got the boost right there. You always gotta have that so you know how much you're pushing on somebody. Uh, cooling temp, necessary. Oil temp, necessary. I recommend 100, don't start dogging your car to 180 oil temp. Cause if you don't do that, you're gonna fuck something up. You're gonna mess something up. Like hands down, you're gonna mess something up. Like it not might it not uh, it might not be like right then and there, or like you know a week from now. But just to let you know, you keep doing that like almost every day. Even when you do it sometimes, bro, I don't even recommend it. You just do it sometimes. Something's gonna blow. Like I'm telling you right now, my friends do it all the time. They like they don't really care. They just do it. And you know what? They're in the shop next week. Just like that. Uh, and then I don't really know what the rest of these sensors are. I just got them. They just told me, don't let any of this stuff go over 15 and you're straight. If uh, if any of this stuff goes over like 15, it'll give you a, a sign, give you an engine check light. And then, you know, you don't have to take that in there. But other than that, it gives you gauges, gives you all the tunes to go over. Uh, that's all I know about it. All right, so you saw my boy, so Subaru WRX, giving a pretty much really in detail about the car, the pros and the cons, and everything to it. Um, I think the car is pretty cool, to be honest with you. Like, I've always really liked the Subaru WRX. I, this STI just looks cooler, but it's a lot more expensive, about, what, like 35,000, right? Yeah. Something like that. That don't bread. Yeah, that would add. These are like 20 to 25,000. So it's like about a $10,000, $15,000 like big difference between the STI to the WRX. Um, like personally, I've always liked the car, but I never really looked into it. And then after giving his review on it, I like, I don't know if I want the car anymore. <laughs> just kidding. No, but I still love the car. Um, I just didn't know there were so many bad things to it. Like you would have to like actually like go ahead and tune it and all that stuff just to get it to work and drive smooth compared to how it is stock. Um, nah, like after all the mods, he's pretty much like said like he enjoys the car a lot more now rather than um, from what it was when it was OEM, everything. So um, what you rate it? So now this is the part where we are going to go ahead and rate the car. Um, one being the absolute worst that you should steer away and not buy the car and then 10 being a perfect 10-10 car that there's no flaws whatsoever and it is just a go ahead and cop kind of car. Um, I'll let him go off with his number first. Stock, if you're gonna drive it stock, like, I'm not even gonna lie, if you just go into Ford stock and you're scared to, like, like void the warranty, five, I wouldn't even have it like that, bro. I wouldn't even, rec like, I wouldn't even recommend you buy it unless you, like, go ahead and tune it. 
Tune it, 10 out of 10, bro. 10 out of 10, like all, all the way, bro. Cause that turbo noise, that spool, that backfire, that everything, ties the car all around. It's it's so worth it. With stock, you're just gonna get, you just be blown about the jerk, every pull, the rev hang, it's not worth it. It's just, you might as well tune it. Just go stage one. Like, I was on the fence about going, like, tuning my car too. I was scared, like, yo, it's gonna blow up. This car is a whole different car now. Like, it's amazing. I recommend it. If you tune it. If you do it stock, it's not worth it. Just go buy an STI. This, pro this car is probably way better. I've never driven an STI. It pushes more than an STI right now, but it's cheaper to go this way and a lot more fun. You could really clog STI if you wanted to just by tuning and all the other stuff. But stock, it's not even worth it, bro. So what do you say? You sound like an eight. I sound like an eight? Stock? I got two, I got separate categories. Stock, five. Tune, 10. Like that's all around eight. Let's do, let's go eight. 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 We'll do eight. All right, so he gave an eight out of 10 pretty much overall. Uh, difference between stock and when it's, once it's like tuned up and all that stuff. Me personally, I probably wasn't gonna do two different categories, but given the hand that he did that, um, I would actually agree. Uh, haven't never driven the car, so I don't know any of the things that he's saying, but based off of what he's just like referred to, I'll probably give the car a five out of 10 factory uh, stock coming out of with nothing. And then once it's tuned up, uh, I would say cosmetically wise and all that stuff, I give this car a 10, this car a 10, because I really like the car. I always have, like just once the car came out, like it's just like the way that the car looked in general. Um, it can be look. It can look really sick. Um, I told this man to put the car on bags, but he doesn't want to. Nah, <laughs> and I'm telling him to put three-piece wheels, but nah, he doesn't bro. want to. Um, but yeah, if any of you guys have Subarus out there and you guys agree, give this video a like. Um, comment down below too if you guys have like had any problems like how he's mentioned, yeah. or like what you've guys done to like you know fix it or just tune it up. Um, but yeah, no, car 10 out of 10 for me. Uh, I'd probably just rate it overall a 9 out of 10. And then he said 8 out of 10. Uh, yeah, so if you're looking for a car that you want to tune up and then make it unique to your own taste, go ahead and buy the car. If you're not looking into that and just driving it stock, I'd probably say buy another car. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't take it into consideration. Relax. But this is the end of the video. Um, yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thanks for being the guest today and showing us your beautiful WRX that one day I'll probably own. Or if I don't, I'll probably dog them in a race. <laughs> At some point. We'll see that if that ever happens. And, um, but yeah, tune in to the next episode. Peace. Just slide without seeing the carbon fiber right there, babe. There's real carbon right there.